Hello everyone, Steven here. Thank you for joining me today. And today we are going to do a little plumbing demonstration. So I've been wanting to do this for a very long time as to replace my return um, return pump, well, return line. And let me just go over to my tank. And this is the subject that I am replacing today. So as you can see right now, it's uh, overgrown with uh, with soft coral and um, also one of the biggest thing that I really dislike about it is that um, it doesn't have a flow control and um, it also does not have a, um, a, a valve that prevents water from going back into the return pump. So I'm a little bit annoyed about it, but also even with this project, there's still nothing I can do about it because you can see I was able to get the lock line um, tube and then also the socket and and also the flow control. But currently, I cannot find a vendor that carries a three-quarter inch uh, return line um, for, for valve uh, to prevent water from, from being sucked in. So um, a little annoying, but that is what it is. And um, before I start, I actually have to say this is actually the second order I placed from um, Marine Depot with the Lockline products. One thing that I think will be really helpful is to help people understand what is a half inch and what is a three quarter inch because my first order I placed a half inch order and I actually took out my tape measure and measured the inside. So what you want to measure is the inside. Um, this should be half inch or three quarter inch and um, turns out that's not the case um, you know I measured the inside of my return and I thought at the time was half an inch turns out to be a three quarter inch so if you are placing an order for a lock line product and wondering if you need half an inch or three quarter inch one simple way to do it is um, while you're home you probably are able to see um, the half an inch is basically um, about the width of the last segment of your, of your finger right here as you can see um, I'm like average size um, you know I'm like 5'11 and my hands are not incredibly small or big and also if I am holding this and I can easily just put my thumb in and out of the three quarter inch tube whereas the half inch tube my, my thumb cannot get in. I can get part of my index finger in, but um, maybe pinky, oh, let me try pinky. Nope, not even the pinky. But uh, with a three quarter inch, you can basically get all of your finger comfortably in, except for thumb, you know, if you have a really huge hand. So anyways, that's, uh, as you can see side by side, the difference between a half inch and a three quarter inch. So. What I'm going to do is I will go ahead and shut the water off. I am going to disassemble the return pipe and then I will assemble this lock line here. What I will need is plumbing wrench and then this is a must get from lock line so that you can comfortably snap them together. Otherwise, it's almost impossible. You're going to hurt your hands if you don't have it. So um, without further ado, let's begin. So as you see in my time lapse video, I did struggle a little bit with uh, snapping some pieces together, particularly um, it's the segment that's between the valve, control valve and, and this one because the, they don't really fit nicely in the crimper. So I actually have to use my hand for this two segments. 
but I was able to get this two here in, and I was able to get um, this two together. So now it's just a matter of uh, testing to see how I like the flow. Now first I'll see how strong the flow is. Now that looks like it's almost completely shot up, so I don't want that. A little bit flow, but maybe a little bit more. And then I'd also want to see how deep I want this to be, so I can make it go a little bit further down. I think one of my objective is that um, having a little fan out um, spout, it will disturb the water a little bit less so I can always have a better view of all my corals and clams from the water surface. So actually it doesn't look too bad right now so I'm gonna dismount the camera so I can have a better angle to see how the water flow is doing. They're pretty decent. And uh, let's see by reducing the flow over there I probably increase the flow over here a little bit too. Yep I can feel it. Because it used to be this flow is really weak because that flow is really strong. So by reducing the flow over there I am able to get the flow over here a little bit more. So I'm pretty happy with the result here. Um, uh, by the way, as you can see, I actually used to have a lot more clams and I do still have them here, but um, I will do a separate story about those clams and it is a story about disease prevention and how to cure them. So stay tuned and thank you for sticking with me for the little plumbing project here. I will see you guys next time. Please uh, remember to always like, subscribe, and uh, share my information here so that we can get as many viewers. I definitely can use your encouragement. Thank you. Have a nice one. Happy reefing.